you know, very good game, especially for a midweek game. You don't oftentimes see that kind of pitching in a midweek situation. So I thought both teams, you know, pitched the heck out of it and uh, real proud of what Preston did. It's very important, you know, with these midweek games that we get, you know, some innings out of our starters. So we're not making it a, a nine or ten pitch, a pitcher uh, type of a, of a game. So um, that's the best Preston's pitch this year. We hope he can build on that. Uh, that's what we thought uh, we were getting when he decided to come here for his final year of eligibility. So uh, real pleased with what Thomas did do. That was a huge hit in the bottom of the eighth inning to give us a three-run lead, kind of just uh, give Jonah Smith a chance to breathe a little bit and work through their best hitters. We knew we were going to see their three, four, five, six guys in the top of the ninth. So uh, it was a huge um, two-run hit by, uh, by Thomas. So, with that, we'll open it up to you folks, okay? Ask you questions for the student athletes, please. With, uh, Preston, what was different about your outing tonight? Maybe some of the things you were doing and the stuff you had compared to the rest of the season? Yeah, previously I haven't really had very good fastball command, and that's pretty much what I based my pitching off of, is just making sure I can spot up my fastball. And tonight I had it, and uh, everything pretty much just worked off of that. And I felt really good warming up. Felt really confident throwing my bullpen and went out there and just trusted my stuff. Was there a point in the game where you felt like, in your mind, maybe you settled in and you were kind of just relaxed? Out yeah, there? definitely after the first inning. Yeah, um, getting those last three guys out after the first two hits. Uh, just yeah, getting those three pop ups and after that, I felt really good and knew that as long as I just kept throwing strikes, they were just going to get themselves out. It seemed like you did kind of get a lot of fly balls, pop ups, some weak contact. Did I, I guess did you feel like you could? It was okay if the ball got hit in the air tonight. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, it was kind of a cold night. Air was heavy. Um, I mean, the ball wasn't didn't seem like it was flying that much. So, I mean, Mike hit one to the to the wall in the eighth, <laughs> if in eighth inning too. But um, yeah, I mean, I just trusted my stuff, like I said, and you know, let them get themselves out. Preston, how, how do you avoid sort of letting the start of the, the season affect your confidence, or did it? I, I wonder, like after those first two couple starts, where were you at mentally and how do you rebound and keep pushing? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm a fifth year, so I've been, not going to say I've been in that kind of situation before, but I knew if I just stuck with, you know, trusting my stuff and, I mean, I knew everything was going to work out. And, I mean, this is only the first one, you know, I still got a lot of work to do, but uh, it definitely feels a lot better now, you know, getting kind of the monkey off my back, so to speak. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to pitching again and, yeah, it was, it was fun tonight. Uh, Tommy, in, in the fourth inning, um, uh, Schreiber came from first to third, and, and the ball just went over your head off the hit, and Upton made the throw to you. Uh, what did you see on that throw that, that Upton made, and how, how were you able to play that, and I mean, how good of a throw was it? Uh, you know, to me, that was a perfect throw. I mean, just try to stay, stay low underneath it. It was a long hop right there, easy catch tag, so uh, we work on that every single day, so really wasn't a surprise to me to get a one hopper right there, kind of shin height perfectly. So, yeah. Any other questions for student athletes? Thomas, on your where you made it three nothing. What'd you see on that pitch, and, and were your eyes very wide when that pitch was coming down? Uh, you know, they were throwing a lot of changeups and, <clears throat> and off speed stuff the whole game. So the game plan is try to get something elevated, and I kind of swung at one before a little too high. So uh, when he threw that one right there, yeah, it was pretty elevated. Just try to stay, not do too much to, uh, with it, and just stay up the middle. And uh, just so happened to pull it, though. So yeah. Was that one that you swung up before? Was that an off-speed pitch, too? It was also an off-speed, okay. yeah. So, so it, the, the next one wasn't as high? No, not as high, no. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And just from your vantage point, what do you see from Preston? I mean, that when the guy's working like that, I'm sure you guys can settle in as, as infielders. And yeah. Get when, group, what, do you, what do you see? Uh, when, when guys throw in strikes like that consistently and innings are quick, it's so much easier to play defense. Um, like just, just throwing strikes, which Preston did, and he did in the fall. So I, I've always had a lot of confidence in Preston um, and all of our other guys, really. So uh, it really wasn't a surprise to me that he's doing what he's doing now. All right, guys, thanks. Coach, any questions? Sure. Seven base runners, but nothing looks particularly hard.
hard hit. Is that about as well as you know, yeah. he is a pitch in a movie? Yeah. You know, yeah, we, we, we talked about it before the game that, you know, a lot of college offenses need help. They need walks. They need hit by pitches. They need errors. And I said, let's eliminate those tonight. Let's make sure they earn everything. And um, you know, our goal every game is to get five free bases or less. Now, we haven't lost a game when we've been able to do that. And today we had no free bases. For those of you that don't think you can play a, a close to a perfect game, I believe you can in baseball. Today was as, about as close as a perfect game from Creighton uh, defensively and pitching as you can have. What did you see out of Preston that was different than before? I mean, for him to have such, I mean, he wasn't necessarily just pitching to get outs, but he was also commanding really well. Like, he didn't really get behind much. And well, he, like he said it, you know, I mean, he, he's been having trouble throwing strikes. He's, he's only thrown 51% of his pitches strikes so far this year. Now, today that was, uh, you know, he was probably in the 65 to 70 range. And he was getting, he was getting on top of his fastball. You know, and a lot of left-handers, when they miss, they miss up and away. And Preston was missing up and away early. And then he was having to come into the hitter a lot. And, like, the leadoff hitter got to a 2-0 count, and he got a fastball, you know, down the middle. He put a good swing on it. That was probably the last time he gave, he got into a hitter's count, you know, the next several innings. So, uh, hitting is pretty challenging to begin with. But when the pitcher has the upper hand and he controls the count, it's a really challenging thing. And you saw both pitchers, both sides, really control the strike zone tonight. That's why you didn't see very many runs. Was it a uh, mechanical issue at all for him? Start no, I think you know. I think when a when a young man joins a program that has different, you know, way of doing things. You know, every program's different. That's not to say we're better than anybody, but every program's different. And I think it took him a while to settle in. You know, the expectations for us are probably a little different from a pitching standpoint. You know, we, we demand our pitchers throw strikes, and we trust our defense is going to make plays. Now, the problem was early in the season, we weren't making plays. But now we're starting to. So I think, and, and I think the pitching is going to get better right along with our defense. You know, that's three straight games now. We haven't committed an error, and I, I think that's more of what we're capable of doing. Coach, in the, I think it's sixth inning, Preston obviously pitching well. But usually in the midweek game, that's sometimes the time where you'll take the pitcher out, lefty versus righty. Was that to give him some more confidence? Or was he just, do you, you feel I wanted I, I wanted him to get through Roscom. So uh, we were going to go hitter by hitter, and he, he did a good job and got Schreiber to strike out. And then he got Wilkening out. And then, you know, he got, he got Roscom out. I wanted left on left with, uh, with Roscom. And then I was, we had Boyer sitting there waiting for the bottom of the order. Now, they did a good job and pinch hit a couple guys left-handed off of, off of Mitch. But our goal was to get um, Preston through Roscom. And then after that, we were going to make a change. Jonah, um, is he going to kind of settle in? That closer spot I think we'll have a lot of guys in that position. I mean, Thomas Lovano is lurking out there. I mean, uh, we got to be careful with Thomas being a third baseman. <clears throat> Thomas is going to probably be at the back end of a lot of games. Jonah will be. You know, our closer right now, Bobby Kamitis, is is sick. He hasn't been with us for eight or nine days, so we're kind of having to make do until we hopefully get him back soon. But you know, the good thing is it's not an arm injury; it's a sickness. So. When he does feel better, uh, you know, he should be able to bounce back and, and get his arm going again. But you'll see a lot of different guys at the back end of the games. It's all about matchups for us. We'll take two more questions. Coach, another good win to pad your RPI. Do you kind of feel like you guys are setting the table for, I know it's early, but something special this year? Yeah, you know, the RPI, I know a lot of folks are interested in that, and that's great. You know, it's, <coughs> it's good for the fans. It's good for people that like to follow college baseball. That's fantastic. But... I'm more worried about trying to get this team a little bit better. I think tonight, obviously, our pitching was better, our defense was better. Now we've got to get a little bit more offensive. That's about five games in a row. We really haven't swung the bats as well as we did early in the season. So that RPI stuff, like I mentioned to a couple folks today, you know, I'll, I'll start bearing down on that about the May 19th, May 20th, when the regular season's over with. I don't really pay much attention to it. It fluctuates so much. Um, I know our younger coaches enjoy looking at that, and that's good. They keep me updated. but. I don't spend much time on it. I, I, I'm too busy trying to figure out how to get this team a little bit better. Wow. I really like this team. This team has a lot of. There, there's something about this team. They're 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 very um, they're very uh, uh, good to work with. So I'm, I'm anxious to see how far we can take this. We've got time for one more. Uh, it seems like Mitch Boyer. I mean, he's kind of your your guy uh, in the bullpen as as far as someone who's reliable who can come out and. 
Um, I know you talked about how you, you lowered his arm slot, but I mean, how important has that been to this team? Just to kind of have that guy to bridge the gap between the starter and then the, the back end of the bullpen. You know, when we were having fall workouts, I, I just didn't think we had a good matchup right on right. And we've been spoiled, you know, with having Dave Gerber here for so many years and Kurt Spomer before that. And I wanted to see if we could get a better matchup right on right. And we went to Mitch and said, Mitch, you know, we need you to drop down. And he was all for it. And I said, I think you're going to have an opportunity to pitch in 25 to 30 games if you can drop down. I think you're going to be a tough matchup on right-hand hitters. And he dove right in, took it over, and he's exactly doing that. He's tough on right-hand hitters. He's been able to get a few lefties out, too. But, uh, uh, you know, he's been a part of the program for a while, so it's good to see him get rewarded. But, yeah, he'll be that kind of sixth, seventh, eighth inning guy to hopefully get to either Jonah Thomas or when Bobby gets back with us, uh, you know, Bobby will be back in that role. Good. Thanks, guys.